Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Another beautiful morning in North Naples. Down in area two. I already saw some fish jumping out in the water. Another nice calm day out in the Gulf. Look at that. Wow. Look how flat it is out there. Got some shorebirds. Some, I see some sandpipers and little snowy egrets out here. A couple people walking the beach already. I see a bunch of pelicans up to the north on the sandbar. I can see little swirls out here, those little bait fish jumping around out here in the water. Absolutely gorgeous. Look, there's all the little fish. See them all down there? I don't know. It's still kind of dark. All the little bait fish down there. It's kind of Swaying around in the tide, <laughs> in the waves. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Beautiful morning out here. Yesterday was a great, great beach walk. You can find it a whole lot in the way of seashells, but there's a fish jumping over there again. Didn't see a lot in seashells, but we found, we saw a lot of marine life yesterday and birds. All good signs that life is returning to our beach. Things are getting slowly getting back to normal. Roy was moved out of the hospital yesterday. He's back up at Solaris at the nursing facility up in North Naples. Anybody that wants to go visit him is more than welcome. So we can get there. They're going to be monitoring, keeping a close eye on his blood levels there, on Roy's blood levels. Hopefully everything will be all right. Boy, some no see -ums out here today. no see -ums, little bugs that annoy the dickens out of you. Yesterday, as I was leaving the beach, I saw three dolphins. I wasn't able to get a shot of them, but I did see three dolphins yesterday. Maybe they'll come by a little earlier this morning. We'll get a look at them. So for me, yesterday was fantastic. Oh boy, something's chasing after the fish. They were just all jumping right out here. You see that where that water's swirling around? Something's out here feeding again this morning. Oh, there they are up there jumping around now. Something's chasing them along the beach. See them all up there? Just like yesterday. Boy, that sandbar looks like it's covered with pelicans this morning. I'd love to get up there before they take off. Absolutely beautiful, the water out here this morning.
such gorgeous colors. You still see a little bit of the pinks and oranges and reds from sunrise out there. Such a flat day out there. Look at that. Definitely makes it easy to spot a dolphin when it's calm like that. And there are lots of fish. Look at them all. Look at all these little fish just jumping up here in front of me. Incredible. All these little fingerlings. The water is just teeming with them. As soon as that sun comes up, we'll be able to see them. All the birds just hanging along the shore here having a feast. That island up there, that sandbar that I walk out on in Area 4 is just covered with birds this morning. Covered. I'm just hoping to make it up there before they all take off. It is incredible. Not seeing a whole lot of shells here yet on the beach. Tide's just on its way out here. So again, not the best time for shelling. Low tide's the best time for shelling. But we might stumble across something nice here. You never know. There's a big cockle shell right there. Look at that. Look at the size of that cockle shell. That's a beauty right there. All these little snowy egrets here. I mean, it's like a smorgasbord here with all these little fish for these guys. He just got himself one right there. It's pretty easy pickings for him. I'll probably get another one now. Yep, just got another one. <laughs> Nothing to it. These little fish are everywhere. I bet he'll get another one. Right as the wave comes in is when the little fish come in and they poke at them. Watch. Oh, that's a little too big of a wave. <laughs> Ooh, something, something just surfaced right out there, big fish. See him out there? Something's chasing the little ones around. Very active offshore here this morning. Very, very active.
all the pelicans just took off from the sandbar. Darn it. The sandbar was just covered with pelicans. They just took off. Gosh, darn it. I mean, there's just, I don't know, there's probably 50 pelicans up there at least flying around. How you doing? Good, how are you? Great. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. All the birds now, the yeah. pelicans. There's a few shells down here. Lots of shells out here in the water. Lots of them. They'll all be exposed here at low tide. It's absolutely gorgeous out here this morning. Nice fresh air. Clean water. Lots of little birds. Lots of seashells down here. I'm just kind of moving along kind of quickly here this morning. Getting up, heading up to that sandbar. I want to make it up to Wiggins Pass. I heard the fishermen have returned. Nice little fighting conch, a little Florida fighting conch, a baby shell. There's an old lightning whelk down there. We always seem to find lots of old whelks. Actually, yeah, it's chipped. It's chipped all along the side there, this lightning whelk. Oh, nice looking shell. I'll leave that for some, somebody will add that to their collection, I'm sure. Lots of neat little things down here. Turkey wing shell. There's a little turkey wing. A little scallop, piece of a scallop. There's a nice little fighting conch shell over here. That's like a medium size right there. Medium size fighting conch. Beautiful shells, the fighting conchs. There's another one down there. Another piece, an old lightning whelk over here, piece of one. Actually, it looks like pretty much a hole, a little chip in the top. It's losing all its color. Still a neat looking lightning whelk, just an old one. I bet there's lots of great stuff out here in the water. Lots of great stuff. I want to get up to the sandbar. The pelicans have returned. There was a big school of fish and they all took off after them and now they're back on the sandbar. They're out in the water on the sandbar. A pile of pelicans up here to the north. Listen to the birds. This 
gorgeous out here. I know I'm walking by lots of great shells here. I'm torn between the shells and the pelicans. Our friend Scott yesterday he said he saw the fishermen up there catching fish. That's great news. He said he saw them bringing in some snapper, probably mangrove snapper. Oh man, that island, that sandbar. It's just a wall of pelicans out there. They're all out in the water on the sandbar. All kinds of birds up here this morning again. Our beach is definitely coming back to life here. Get all those birds up there. Look at them all. Look at all the pelicans up there on the sandbar. Out here in the water. They're probably just sitting on top of a school of fish over here. Look at them all over there. That is a pile of pelicans right there. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. That is a great sight to see. Here comes some more flying in. Yeah, we'll get a little closer to them. Get out of the zoom mode here. Hopefully I'll be able to get a picture of them before they all fly away. That is a pretty magnificent sight this morning. I'm gonna go into the photo mode here for a minute. Bear with me. Just wanna get a try and get a picture of these guys before they all take off the best I can without scaring them away.
Sorry about that. All right, I'm back here. It's awesome out here this morning. All the birds, I mean, all different kinds of birds here. Turns right here in front of me. Little sandpipers hopping around the beach over here. A few gulls mixed in with the turns here. Oh, there goes all the pelicans. What a sight, look at that. Wow. They're all heading a little bit north there. Wow. And then, if I turn around here, look out in the water. Lots of pelicans out here in the water. Lots of them. All out here. Try to zoom in on them. The screen is not responding here. There we go. Look at all the pelicans sitting out there. So neat seeing all these birds out here. All the pelicans are down or up to the north up here in the water. That's something. So nice to know that life is returning back to normal here. Things are returning to normal. Some of the pelicans back in the background. What an incredible sight. Absolutely gorgeous out here this morning. Just can't resist taking pictures of all these birds. I don't want to walk along the sandbar and scare them away, but I don't know what all we have out there for seashells this morning. Listen to all those birds chirping.
And then over here on the beach side, we have still have more birds over here. Have a whole group of little sandpipers. See them over here running along the beach. Gorgeous morning. Yesterday, this little area right in here between the beach and the sandbar was just full of those little fingerlings, those little tiny fish, those little hatchlings. And the birds were just having a feast. I am really, really surprised that we haven't seen a dolphin or two offshore. With all these birds, that means there's fish out there, especially the pelicans sitting out in the water. Dolphins are out there, that's for sure. I did see them yesterday as I was leaving. Oh yeah, the little fish are still out here. See the water moving around. Oh yeah, there's tons of little fish out here. Surprised the birds aren't diving in. Oh, look at them all. Oh my lord. It's kind of dark. I don't know if you can see them swimming by here or not. Thousands and thousands and thousands of little fish. Thousands of them. Probably a million of them. <laughs> Millions. These have all just hatched within the past week. Amazing. I assume you can see them. And now they just kind of, there they come, they're coming back. Just incredible. It's like a cloud, a black cloud. Here they come. Look at them all. Absolutely incredible. Wow. If I'm going to be able to get around up here and get up to Wiggins Pass. Beautiful out here this morning.
No red tide warning signs at the park today. Awesome, awesome news. up in area four now, the north end of area four. There's a little olive shell down here. Nice little olive shell. So peaceful out here this morning. If you're new to the group here, to the live feed, be sure to introduce yourself. Let everybody know where you're watching from. We're just one big happy family here. Everybody kind of knows one another just from commenting. and It's amazing, people watching from all around the world. Hoping to find a nice big shell here to hang on the tree for Roy this morning if I can get up there. Look at all those little fish jumping. Something just came in, chased them all. There's a school or something, a school of some kind of fish. Might have been some big snook. Look at this water. Look at how beautiful that is. That's fish down there. That's all little fish swimming by me. I mean, they're just going right around me here. Let's see if I can get out in the middle of them. Wow, that's incredible. Look at that view back there. Isn't that beautiful? Listen to those birds. Where are our dolphins? They probably already came by. It is kind of late. But they, they just swim back and forth along the coast throughout the day. Go up. I'm gonna see if I can get by the trees up here. There's no beach left up here. Hoping to find a nice little shell to 
hang on our prayer tree up here, our shell tree for Roy today. This piece of a whelk down here, it looks like, buried. Oh, darn it. All busted up. It's pretty well buried down there too, a lightning whelk. There's another one, a little baby one. Little baby lightning whelk. That's a keeper. What's this down here? Is this a mossy arc or a turkey wing? Old, an old turkey wing. Meat shells, the turkey wings. Oh, nice, a moon shell. I love finding moon shells. A moon shell a day. That makes me happy. There's a nice little moon shell, a shark eye. Beautiful, got a really nice eye on it. Quite a few little conks up here, little fighting conks. Florida fighting conk. Very, very popular shell here. I always say this is probably the most collected shell on our beaches, the fighting conks. They're so prolific and yet they're beautiful. You just always want to make sure they're empty whenever you pick one up. We haven't seen any live ones lately, unfortunately. There's a clam. Clam shell all closed up. I don't know what kind of clam that is. Nice looking shells. I'm gonna toss it back out in the water. not there's really no beach left up here the tide's going out can i make it through here without stepping on something and breaking my neck i really don't care about me i just don't want to drop the camera and the or the gimbal in the water Here's another nice cockle. Does it have a hole in it? Yeah. Hey, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm gonna rinse the sand off it. Got a great, nice little cockle shell to hang on the tree for Roy. Awesome. Beautiful looking back down to the south. Let's see, any dolphins? By this time of day, they're gonna be down to the south and if we see them, they're probably gonna be making their way up north. Unless they're back to hanging out in Wiggins Pass. If the fish are back in the pass, the dolphins love hanging out there as the tide's going out. It's good fishing for them in the morning. As you can see, at high tide, we have no beach here. Up in Area 5, south end of Area 5. Ooh, exposure. Whoops. There it goes. We got no beach left here. Just gotta be careful where you're walking. There's some old tree stumps and tree roots out here.
Look at that little snowy egret just perched there. You gonna let me walk by? Yeah, I'm not gonna do anything. I don't wanna scare you. The water's getting kinda deep here. Look at his little yellow feet. Beautiful little bird. Beautiful little bird there. Isn't that gorgeous? The little snowy egret. I gotta get a picture of that. Beautiful little bird there. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, gonna walk away. I don't blame you. Now let's get up to the end of the beach here, up to Wiggins Pass. Not the easiest trek here this morning. I might take the back road, the nature trail back. It's fairly deep out here. Where I'm standing used to be that high. Look how high that is over there. Look how much beach we've lost. And we lost five to six feet here. I'm out in the water now. This all used to be five to six feet higher out here. We used to have a real nice big piece of beach up here, but a couple tropical storms and Hurricane Irma took it all away. What a shame. Ah, dry land. Nice. Still not much dry land here. There's a piece of a pear whelk down here. Oh, here's something cool. It'll show you the difference here. If I can... They're old shells, but a lightning whelk on the left, on the right, a pear whelk on the left. See how the openings are on the other side? The pear whelk on the left, the lightning whelk on the right. The pear whelks are more round. Am I saying that right? Is that a pear whelk now? I'm, or is the pear whelk? Ah, now I'm doubting myself. Oops. I think that's a paper fig. Now I forget on the left. Definitely a lightning whelk on the right. Ah, old age. <laughs> How you doing? I'm good. Good, good. I went and saw uh, our friend Roy yesterday. Did you? Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Did he recognize you? Um, I think he was familiar with me. Yeah. You know? um, I chatted. Jenny was there when I stopped Oh, okay. By, Great. She had told me that he was getting moved to the rehab. Yeah. He's back at Solaris today. Yeah. Up in Imperial. Oh, good. So, good. Yeah. Well, that's great. I mean, the more visitors the better. I mean, he loves visitors. Yeah. And that's the best medicine for him, I yeah, think. Yeah, I, um, and I also, I told him, um, I'm a dietitian. Oh, okay, great. And I said, you know, if you ever need any tips or, um, need some help, because he could, he could stand to put on a little. Oh, yeah, big weight, time. You know, it would Absolutely. help his immune system, too. Um, Absolutely. So I was trying to encourage him to get some protein in the morning, some kind of, because I went through his diet with him, and it's really low on in protein. So. Oh, yeah. He's so sweet. I mean, he is. So <laughs> There's precious. nothing to him, though. I know. He's just skin and bones. I know. I know. <laughs> and this but, has not helped. Yeah, I know. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, sure. That's so kind of you. Yeah, yeah. Have a good one. That's so sweet.
people going to visit Roy, beach friends going to see Roy. Look at the size of this Murex I just picked up. Unfortunately, it has a big hole in it. But look how big that apple is. I think that was an apple Murex. It was an apple Murex. That would have been a great find for Murex that size on this beach. So beautiful out here. Just keep my fingers crossed, a dolphin or two will swim by here, or three or four or five or a hundred. Beautiful colors this morning, beautiful water. This little guy's following me. What are you doing? I you think I have this shell in my hand to hang on the tree and he's got his eye on it. <laughs> Let me get around you. Beautiful, beautiful Thursday morning here in North Naples. Boy, the shell trees are out in the water this morning. Look at that. High tide and the shell trees are out in the water. Looks like we lost a little more beach up here since the last time I've been up here. I haven't been up here since Gordon. But we definitely lost more beach up here. We can't afford to keep losing beach. Well, where's a good spot? This looks like a good spot to put a shell for Roy. There's a nice big branch here. Solid branch right up here. Out overlooking the water. Let's see here. How do I want to put this on? So I can Get it overlooking the water. There you go. Nice cockle shell with the water in the back for Roy. Let's everybody say a little prayer. Take a minute here. I'll be quiet. And everybody, if you want, if you'd like, say a little prayer for our friend Roy. Sharon, that's for you as well. Amen. I know Roy can feel those prayers. He said that once before, that you could actually feel it when we're praying for him. Hang on, I'm going to take a picture of that. All right, Roy, I hope you felt those prayers. Thank you, everybody, for caring about our friend. We're getting close to Wiggins Pass now. Just around the corner, around the bend from this big tree here. And I have a feeling there are gonna be some fishermen up here today. Everything's, all our water conditions here in Collier are improving dramatically. 
They actually were saying red tide is non-existent down in Southern Collier. Very, very minor up in North Collier, up in North Naples. And I don't see, I really don't see any signs of red tide out here. These stumps are usually up on the beach. Huh. Definitely hard to get around here this morning. Here we are up at Wiggins Pass. Son of a gun, I don't see any fishermen. They might have been out here earlier. Boy, look at those colors, is that not beautiful? Boy, these, those little bait fish are just all along the beach. I just see them all out here, those little fingerlings. The shoreline is just teeming, teeming with little fish. The birds are in heaven. So are the bigger fish. <laughs> it's a huge buffet out here. Boy, nice breeze kicking in up here. Nice breeze. Ooh, there's a nice whelk. Now I'm, I'm doubting myself. Is this a pear or a paper fig? Beautiful. Nice little shell. Nice little shell there. Very fragile. These are very fragile, very thin. And I, you can see the light through them when you hold them up. You can see right through them. Beautiful up here, Wiggins Pass. Beautiful colors in the water. Blues, greens. Absolutely gorgeous. No fishermen, though. I'm surprised. I would have thought we'd seen some fishermen up here. Absolutely beautiful. This is the north end of Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. The very north end of the beach.
just dredged out this pass so it gets deep really fast. You can see the light green, the dark green, and the dark blue. Beautiful, beautiful colors. Definitely worth taking a picture of. fishermen heading this way. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. These colors are just spectacular out here this morning. It's absolutely gorgeous. Let's snap off another picture. not yeah they might be resetting some markers I saw a couple fell over Admiring the beauty out here. Just the colors here are just incredible this morning. beautiful the water here we have not seen water like this for quite a while From our marine contractors Nelson Marine yeah. A new dock in or something they got some pilings on there big business down here the marine business the piling the dock and piling business sea walls there's one of our older companies right there nelson marine start heading back down the beach. Zoom in a little bit across the pass real quick. You see we got some people walking out on Barefoot Beach. That beach has been pretty deserted lately too. But everything's slowly returning back to normal now. Thank goodness. If you look closely 
roughly here. You can see all the way up to Fort Myers Beach. The condos there. All the way on the left. You can see all the way up to Fort Myers Beach from here. Absolutely beautiful out here this morning. what Southwest Florida is all about right here. Shells along the beach here. Beautiful colors of the Gulf, the greens, the aquamarines, the blue. Absolutely gorgeous. That is definitely, definitely paradise right there. Get up here, give you a look around the point here at Wiggins Pass. I'm gonna take the back way. I'm gonna take the nature trail for a little ways to here because uh, the tide's too high up here in area five. There's no beach left there, but I wanna come up here and give you a look around. Give you a look around at our, what you can see through the sea oats anyways. Beautiful, that's Wiggins Pass. That's where we were just a little while ago. Absolutely gorgeous. Just beautiful. That water is beautiful today. The sky, the water. Couldn't ask for a nicer day here. Look at that. Just beautiful. Like I said, I'm going to take the back way, the nature trail, the boardwalk, back down to area four. That poor palm tree took a beating from our hurricane. Used to be a nice, beautiful sable palm, but no longer it's dead. Used to be beautiful with that beautiful green palm out there. There's a look back down the boardwalk, out the boardwalk. Just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous today.
We're up at the north end of the park, area five. We're gonna see there is there's more to than the, to this park than the beach. There's some nice little boardwalks. In the summertime, it's got lots of mosquitoes back in here, but in the winter, it's nice. The winter is what we call our season when all the snowbirds come back home, the part-time residents. I was to make a left here. Well, there's a little observation tower down here, but the trees have grown so high, you really can't see anything from the observation tower. It's still a neat place to go and take your picture up there. Then they have this great big pavilion here. They rent this out. People get married on the beach and then they have a little reception right here in this pavilion afterwards. You just gotta make reservations with the rangers. It's a great little pavilion. I don't know if we can see it, if I can get up high enough over here. Great place to have a little beach party. The only thing is, they don't allow any alcohol here at the park. No alcoholic beverages in the state park here. Now, if they had a campground here, you could have alcoholic beverages at the campground, but they don't, so you can't. It's right next to the restrooms over here, and there's showers. They got sho they got five of these bathhouses with showers, outdoor showers. There's grills all throughout the park. That's a really nice. That's one of the. That's the nicest grill in the park right there. It's got a couple little flat tops on it. Let's make my way back through here. Just because the beach is all washed away in area five, I didn't want to wade through the water. It was a little deep being high tide, so I'm taking the back route down here, giving you a, a look at the other side of the park. A little peek at it anyways. Step down here. Well, this path kind of parallels the whole beach. Here's one of the picnic areas. These are scattered all throughout the park, these picnic areas. You can see the barbecue grills, beautiful view of the beach. Absolutely gorgeous. Great place to come and spend a Saturday. Hey, I've heard uh, something interesting. There's a bear family. There's a family of bears that has been spotted up here in North Naples. They might be in the park, I don't know. That's amazing how the bears make their way out to here. Here, I'll show you the reason why I'm taking the back route here, the back road. There's not any beach left to walk on down here. But look at those colors. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous.
Got to go a little further still before I can get back out on the beach. This kind of gives you a good look at the back of the park. This is all new here. This sidewalk, this is all new. More picnic tables over there. Another bathhouse straight ahead of me. Beautiful railroad vine down here. This gets beautiful purple flowers on it. I don't see any right now. Another one of the little interpretive displays here. This teaches you about gopher tortoises. We have a lot of gopher tortoises here in the park. Over on this side, the sea turtles that we have here in Southwest Florida, the hawksbill, the leatherback, the Kemp's Ridley, the loggerhead. The loggerhead is what nests here at Del Delnor Wiggins. The loggerhead sea turtle. The leatherbacks are the biggest. 500 to 1500 pounds. Can you believe that? The loggerheads are about three feet and 275 pounds. These are the smallest, the Kemp's Ridley. These are the most endangered as well. But if you, you can actually learn something if you come out here and then here's some of the birds that you'll see out here. The seabirds, the laughing gulls, the skimmers, the sandwich tern, the brown pelicans, all the different birds. That's what we are seeing out on the sandbars, these least turns and sandwich turns. Lots of, we saw lots of brown pelicans today. Lots of brown pelicans. Well, let's get back out to the beach. There you can, there's one of those purple flowers. A couple of the purple flowers on some of that railroad vine. Beautiful. This is one of Roy's favorites. He loves looking at these beautiful purple flowers. He loves that. When these are in full bloom, I mean this whole, these vines are just covered with those little purple flowers. This is where we lost all our beach here. There's just nothing left. Just a big drop off. You can see they actually have it roped off, these old access points. Nothing left here of our beach. Sad, sad, sad. This beach used to go way out there, way out. It was a, it's one of our nicest parts of the beach here up in area five and it's gone. Getting close here. We're almost down to where Roy hangs out. There's all kinds of neat little critters running around in here. See some rabbits. Of course, our raccoons. 
Always remember to look up in the pines for those ospreys. And this color is gorgeous this morning, the greens and the blues. Let's see if we can get out onto the beach here. It's been a while since I've been back in here. I think we got some beach out here. Yep. This is the north end of area four. Spider web here in front of me. Darn it. Back out to the beach. Oh, and all our pelicans are back out there on the sandbar. A little, little snowy egret sitting out here. That was a nice little walk through the back side of the park. Something a little different. Just gonna get up to these birds here. And still haven't seen any dolphin. I know they're out here. I know the dolphins are out here today. They're definitely back. If you were to hang out here, you would definitely see dolphins throughout the day. There's a beautiful little fighting conch shell. Look at the colors on that one. Big hole in the back of it. Huh. Nice colors. Tide is slowly making its way out here. Listen to all those birds. All the pelicans sitting out there. All the pelicans down there on the end. Darn it, all those pelicans just took off again. I'm trying to get a picture of them. There's 
sun just went behind a cloud. Looks like the tide is maybe still coming in. all turns down in front of me here. Gorgeous. I cannot see my screen at all right now. It's so bright out here. listening to these birds. I love it. Just hanging out here listening to them. I could listen to these birds all morning. It's amazing. Those are all pelicans sitting offshore there. All brown pelicans. I think I might have saw a dolphin just now pop up. I thought I had saw a dolphin, maybe not.
Well, we had a pretty nice morning this morning. It's a pretty nice beach walk. You got to see the back part of the park this morning. That's a little different. Found a couple nice little shells this morning. It's really fun seeing all the birds here. The beautiful colors of the water. Life is definitely returning to normal here at the beach. Absolutely gorgeous. As most of you know, nobody pays me to come out and do these beach walks. I love doing it. I love sharing our beautiful beach with you here at Del Nor Wiggins. If you want to make a little contribution, it's always appreciated. You can find my PayPal account info in the description of this post at the conclusion of this live feed. Every little bit helps. For those of you that have sent something, thank you so much. Look at all these little fish down here. There's just thousands, thousands and thousands and thousands of little fish swimming around here. Where there's little fish, there's bigger fish. Absolutely gorgeous out here. The colors of the water are just spectacular. The best I've seen them in a long time. Ooh, big snook swim, just swam by me. Remember to keep our friend Roy in your prayers. He's still not out of the woods. He's slowly mending. He is back at Solaris at the nursing facility where he'll be going back for his rehab. Let's hope that issue he was having there being anemic, let's hope that gets cured. Gorgeous out here. Look at that view, huh? Looking up the beach. Beautiful colors, beautiful sky. I'm gonna give you one last look around here before I sign off. Clouds are slowly starting to roll in now. He is in Solaris. Solaris at Imperial. Right up by the entrance to Imperial. And he's in room 148. And the more the merrier. Did you? Okay. He, he, you know, he was back in the hospital. He was back in the hospital just the past four days, three days. Yeah, he was anemic, so they had to give him a transfusion. But he, he's back out. He just came back yesterday, last night. So, people, all his beach friends, 
That, that's the best therapy you can get. People coming to see him. That was horrible. I didn't, when I got that phone call, it was like, oh my God. <laughs> but he's, he's in good spirits and is, he's healing, but very, very slowly. But, yep. The younger we get. Yeah, exactly. But no, the, he loves getting visitors. And he's probably got a stack of cards that high. <laughs> yep, he is. Thanks. Oh, look at all these shells down here in front of me. Shells and seagulls. So peaceful out here. There's some pelicans sitting out in the water offshore. It's amazing all the pelicans we've seen this morning. That looks like the tide came in a little bit since we started. I thought it was going out. Got to be close to high tide if, if not now. I'll post some pictures a little later here. Beautiful colors, beautiful colors up by Wiggins Pass this morning. Absolutely gorgeous. Our pelicans sitting out there in the water. I'm just so excited to see those pelicans. Where there's pelicans, there's fish. It's beautiful looking up the beach here. I just can't get over that beautiful view we have here. Look at all these little fish. Let's see if I can zoom into them, see if you can see them. I don't know. It's pretty hard, the darn reflections. But the water is just teeming with little fish. Well, I gotta get going here. I got things to do. Thank you for watching. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. I hope you enjoy these beach walks. If you do, be sure to hit the like and follow button. Take some time to check out my photos and videos. Please pass them around too. There's a swimmer, a bather heading out into the water. If you do go in the water, just use common sense. Remember to shower off as soon as you get out. Keep your mouth shut. Keep your eyes closed. Don't go in the water with any open wounds, any open cuts. It's pretty much just common sense. There's no reason to be afraid of the water. We'll have a fantastic Thursday.
wherever you might be watching from. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.